My name is Sonia and me is nine. Nine years old? Yeah. And what are you doing on the beach? I'm working on the beach. Yeah, what do you do? I'm selling my clothes. So tell me, why, why is a nine-year-old girl working on the beach? My country is very hard, job, very very hard country. for job, you know? Yeah? yeah, that's why working small, small girl. My country for all day just like 30 rupees. In one day? Yeah, for all day. That's why working here, you know? In, in an average day, what do you do? How much do you sell? How much do you make? Sometimes 300, 400 for a day, I don't know. Show me the money! Show me the money! When I first hit the beach, I couldn't believe I was still in India. I felt like I'd stumbled upon some secret hippie's haven. But then I saw the cows and was suddenly inundated by hawkers trying to steer me to their shops. And I knew I wasn't dreaming. Have a look, okay, my shop. Okay, you see my shop, don't forget. 15 days ago, I don't have business, okay? Five days ago. You make me little business. Okay, we'll talk after, okay? Okay, okay. we'll talk. See, bye, don't worry, relax. <laughs> Vacation or not, it was simply too much for a curious cameraman to resist. Yeah, hey, mommy, you have to see my shop, okay? Do you go to school? I don't go to school. Expensive. I don't have the money to go to school. Expensive school, you know that? Yeah? Do you yeah. go to school, Sonia? No. You don't go to school? No. Sonia, how old were you when you started working here? Like five years. So you've been working here for four, four years now. Yeah. What is your dream? Come over here. Come over here. Okay, Sonia. When you grow up, do you have plans? Do you have a dream of what you want to do with your life? I want to do just your thing. Cairo shooting and make job. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Cooking, eating, Are you, are you her sleeping. translator? <laughs> Everything. You speak for Sonia? Yeah, I speak with Sonia. Okay, Sita, you tell me. What is your dream? Do you want to do this all of your life or do you have other goals? I don't know. The, who knows? Maybe I, what I do, I don't know. God knows everything. I don't know for life. What I'm doing. Or, I don't know. Are you happy here, Sita? Yeah. Why are you happy? What makes you happy? Just like this, nice, Goa is very nice. Happy. Sonia? Yes. Are you happy, Sonia? Yes, but don't So-so. So-so? What would I make... like to go to school. I like to make money and I want to pay my school. Hmm. That's what you want to do, Sonia? I want to go to school. Do you have friends that go to school? Huh? Do you have friends that go to school? Yeah, they go to school and I look here. In exchange for letting me film them, I had promised to do business with three of the girls. So one by one, we sat down in the privacy of their stalls and bartered as if our lives depended on it, which in their case, I imagined it did. After which, I went for a much needed walk. I had made every effort to even out my purchases, but Sonia was absolutely convinced she had been shortchanged. <laughs> and when I returned to see her being bullied out of a new opportunity, quickly set out to even the score. Everybody make you big business. You don't make me business. You yeah? make small business for me. You make her 700, you make her, I don't know. And she, she doing now for 700 for Hannah or the other people, other girl. And you, you doing just big girl, make more, more business. For me, small, small business, yeah. yeah. You know, making me happy, I think. You I think, think you don't like me. 
Can you read and write, Sonia? Mm. No. Can you write your name? No. Can you count? How do you do the math when people pay you? I learn on the beach, all. Yeah? Yeah. So if it costs 300 rupees and someone gives you 500, what do you give them back? 200 back. So you know some math. I, I learn on the beach, all. There are roughly 1.3 billion people living in this country and 54 beaches in Goa. And on this particular day, I came here and I met her. I'd been in India for about a month, filming a team of traveling preachers from my church while shooting what I thought was gonna be my next documentary, a story about Westerners on spiritual journeys. I'd come to Anjana Beach, which I discovered through my trusty Lonely Planet, for only a brief stopover before flying home. Goa in India rocks, yeah. definitely it does. I thought my journey here was over. Yeah. Is that the haul of the day? Yeah, today fresh. But as I waited for the sun to set over the Arabian Sea, reflecting on my chance encounter with this precocious little beach hawker, something told me it was only just beginning. It had been two months since Mumbai was taken siege in one of India's worst terrorist attacks ever, claiming the lives of 164 innocent people, of which 22 were foreigners. It had been almost a year since my last trip. I was back in India, shooting another mission video for the traveling preachers, which helped pay my way. God is bringing salvation to the world. But as soon as I finished with them, I headed straight to the beach, eager to pick up where I'd left off with the girls, assuming they were even there. <laughs> Yeah, were you surprised to see me yesterday? Yeah. What did you think? I remember that guy. Yeah, you, I will remember you. Sonia was now using her Indian name, Shilpa. So Shilpa. What? Shilpa. How long has your grandma been, been coming to Goa? Just this first time with her. This is the first time? Yeah. Just this year? Yeah. I've been, I've been My mom's hand is broken. That's why I bring her. Can you ask your grandma, does she like it in Goa? Don't like it, okay? Oh, yes, okay. she likes And why does she like it? But like you, white people, she never seen like you. People. No? Yeah, that's why she likes So tell me, how is uh, the business today? Today, today not, not even one rupees business, for a good luck, nothing. I need a good luck, I don't have any one rupees. You have to make business now. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. Yesterday I made yeah, business. I bet, I, Selling was in their DNA, but it was driven by a sort of superstition. When the girls made their first sale of the day, they believed it brought them good luck. But if they lost it, it brought them bad luck. So by their logic, I was responsible for either making or breaking their day. To put an end to this incessant bartering, I cut a deal with them to pay them a small fee at the end of each day. And luck 
would have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Uncle, you can look this way. Uncle! Uh, it, has it been slow like this since the attacks in Mumbai? Yeah. yeah. Tell me, what, what is the hardest thing about your job? No I have to work and I'm at work in hot. All day I have to work on the beach. I get hot and I, I get tired. I have to cook, I have to do everything and I have to do business. If I don't do business, I Slap. beat me, my boss. Cry, 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 cry. What kind of beating you? My, my boss is beating me, shouting me. So how much, how much money are they expecting you to make? 60. 60? 60,000. 60, yeah. Every time you come out here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't make 60,000 this year. So every year, so you come out for six months, you say? Yeah, six months. And they expect you to make 60,000 yeah. rupees? Yeah. And if you don't make the 60,000? They don't give me my payment. My payment. And what is your payment? They give me for one month, uh, 1,000. Every month? Every month. So how do you survive with no business? How do you pay for the clothes? I, I borrow from, I borrow someone, from someone, someone, and then uh, I after make I make business, then I give them. Yes. So are you in debt right now? I have to pay thirty thousand. You're in debt thirty thousand rupees. Thirty-five. You're in debt thirty-five silver. That's not good. It's very bad. Very bad. Too young and very hard job. And what happens if you can't pay back? I have to pay back. I can't pay back. When I don't pay money back, they will give me. They they put uh, fire in my shop. How are you? Hello. That was Anita, right? Anita. Hey, she's back. Anita's back. You see my shop. Okay? Well, what? Say again. You see my shop. Doliali perachura, kali gite kardanako, kali gite kardanako. Maru mato me adavego, kali gite kardanako. Maru mato me adavego, maru mato You are name? My name is Chris. Yeah? Nice to meet you. You too. One more time, what is your name? Kavita. And how old are you? 19. 19? Yeah. So, how pregnant are you? How many months? Eight. Are you married? Yeah. No, yeah. Get, uh, pregnant. Then when you get married, then after pregnant, you know? What's that? When you get married, then pregnant. Otherwise, I can't pregnant. <laughs> Did you meet him here? No, I don't meet. What do you mean you don't meet? I don't meet him. My father, father, mother choose, then I get married, you know? <laughs> so who's next? Next is her. <laughs> First who's? is me. No, no, no. Second then... is me. Okay. Third is me. <laughs> You can come my house. Yeah? yeah? I can? Yeah! Silpa? Yes? Who is this? She's my sister. Yeah? What's her name? Pooja. Pooja? How old are you, Pooja? Me? 14. Yeah, 14? Was 16, yeah. 15. Maybe I think so 16, I don't know my, how old are you. Know, it's my mom knows, you know, everything. How, how long have you been working here? Um, then I'm a uh, five years baby, then I'm working on the beach. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you like it? So what, what can I do? That's my job, you know. I like school, I love a school. I want to go to school because it's very expensive school. How can I go? I want, to, I want the money, you know. I want to pay school. Just why, how can I go? I don't go to school. She's cooking dal. And who is that? That's your auntie? Yeah, she's my auntie. From this house. Can I call my mom? Yeah, yeah. Mama Karji. Double it. Double it. Hello? Hello? Mama? What are you doing? How are you good? Excuse me, he's speaking. She can speak with my mom. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hello? Hi. How are you? No, I'm good. You speak good English. It's a small, small. Yeah. Namaste.
one corner to mango dolly. It was Wednesday, flea market day. Started by the resident hippies in the 1960s, the Anjana flea market was a weekly extravaganza bringing together tourists and merchants from all over Goa. For tourists, it was a must-do activity with a chance to haggle for almost anything under the sun. For hawkers like Shilpa, it was a routine boom for business. You have been enough. You tell your partner. Get one fifty, okay? No. Um, I feel that I, I understand that they're trying to make a living. I completely understand that, but I feel at some times that it's just too abrasive. It's too, you know, grabbing your arm or over the top. It's aggression. over the top aggression at times. They're really kind people. I mean, uh, they always laugh in the end, you know? And once in a while you get cheated and once in a while you win, you know? Whatever you want. Like what? Like uh, a huge gun. Just don't be afraid, I don't push you. Okay. I swear. Just have a look. Okay, can you tell me what was that, that old man saying to you? The guy that shook your hand, what was he saying? That's all he said? Yeah. For that long, he just said you my good friend? Yeah. What else did he say? Nothing. See? See? It's getting white. With this, with that one, a streak, that one, see? And they, they breast the in the, they, they come so white. Yeah, from the, the coal? Yeah, from bamboo. This is what your mom's using? Yeah. To brush your teeth? Yeah. What did Pooja use? Brace, Colgate. Colgate? Yeah. Huh? You come next year, okay? I'm gonna try. Oh, here we go. Are you paying the rent right now? You give me 300 or 300, you know? I work from you, I give them. Can I ask something for you? Yeah, yeah. You can listen to me? Yeah. Maybe you don't. Yeah, I don't know you listen. I'm you listening. Know, you don't buy from her dress. You don't buy from my dress. You buy, buy one, just one thing. And what's that? I want a gas cylinder. I want to cook. A gas cylinder? Yeah, gas. You don't yeah. buy clothes from me. Yeah, hot. <laughs> I'd renegotiated her deal to include Pooja. Instead of ongoing cash payments, it was agreed I would buy each of the girls a new outfit of their choosing. As other kids scampered off to school to pursue their dreams, Shilpa returned to her workplace to fetch Sita, and we hopped a bus into town. One by one, I watched them pick out their favorite color and fabric, and this time play the role of customer. They've grown on me, these girls, and I was happy to help out in any way I could. 
Unfortunately, I hadn't considered the ramifications of my modest generosity. You buy that girl's uh, dress, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. This is a problem, is it? This you buy, yeah? For that girl. You don't buy for me. I'm not happy. You're not happy? Yeah. You give money, okay? Then I can buy. They know now. Somebody people tell them to auntie. Auntie? Yeah, somebody people tell and she's shouting me now. Yesterday my grandmother saying, why you go to the Mapsa? You lost your old business. Every day you lost your business with him. You know, today I'm going to pay 3,000 today for place and I lost my business yesterday and my grandmother, my mama shouting me. It was a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And the life of the beach hawker was hardly a beach. It was an enterprise to be precise. Behind the face of these child merchants was a network of adults, including shop owners, loan sharks, mysterious boss men, and if you believe the girls, even the police, essentially profiting from child labor. I pay police 1,000 for one month. And what happens if you don't pay? She take things. I don't pay them, they, she say take things. As for the posters, I learned it was rumored that at nighttime, a whole different kind of tourism was taking place in some of the shops down by the sea. No wonder the kids hung peppers to ward off evil spirits. I never promised to be good with anything. But apart from buying Shilpa a new dress, which just blew up in my face, or asking delicate questions. What more could I really do? Yeah, we come inside. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> what do you have here? Make me a little business. Make for 5,000 rupee business. 5,000 rupee business? <laughs> yeah. What about one rupee business? <laughs> yeah, one rupee. <laughs> so, Pooja. Yeah. I'm back. Please. It's so wide. Please. I know, I know. Wow. That's because it's my first day. Uh, first day today. Oh. Yeah. Who's, who's the new guy? I'm a new guy. Who's your brother? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you go to school? Yeah. You do go to school? Yeah, yeah I go to I school. Holiday? Now is holiday. Abba, give oh. for me, thank you. I'm very Okay, you open. Abba. You open now. Abba is very good looking. Wow. 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 You know what that is, Selpa? I swear I'm very happy. Good man. Yeah. So, 
That's your real name. Does, yeah. Does everyone get a tattoo? Yeah. Shilpa Pujar, yeah? Okay, Shilpa. You remember first time I visited here? Yeah. I asked you some hard questions. Are you happy, Sonia? I asked you about what you want to do in life. So so. So so? Whether you have a dream. I like to go to school. Do you still think the same thing? Do you have the same dream for your life? Yeah. What is your dream? Working the same job. That wasn't what you told me before. Yeah, same job. Because I like to go to school, but I know I can't. Really? I don't have money for go to school. So that's the problem. Money and for my mama papa working money. Does your dad work? No. Why they not? want money for eating, you know. And they you... want also money. If I if I'm stopped to work, then my mama papa I'm not getting money. So that's the problem. Why didn't your dad work? My dad no good. Only drinking, fighting. So, but your little sister, Kelpana, yeah. and your brother, Kieran, they go to school. Yeah, we, we make money and we give him. So, you and Cyril pays for Kalpana, no? Help for Cyril. Who, say again? Cyril, parish guy. Really? Your yeah. parish friend? Yeah. Who you met on the beach? Yeah, he, he helped for Kalpana. And what about uh, Kieran? Kieran, we give him. Hi. You and Pooja? Both? How does that make you feel, Shilpa? It makes you feel good? Yeah. Does it make you feel sad though that you have a brother and sister going to school and, and not you? No. I'm happy. You're yeah, happy? My, yeah. You, you're not angry with them? No. Because you love them? Yeah. You're so sweet. Thank you. So you can come now? Yes, I come now for you. So we go by train, you go by bus? Yeah, I can, I can bus, I can you can go train, then I'm meeting there in Karnataka home, okay? Oh yeah, Shilpa, if you don't go to school, what will you do for the rest of your life? Because I don't know. Maybe Siri help me. What if I wanted to help you, Shilpa? What if I wanted to help you like the Frenchman is helping uh, Kelpana? Yeah. How, how do I do that? Okay, my name is Ravi. I'm the first child brought up by the Shilpa Charity Trust. When I was five years old, I was brought up by Shaddai. I was rescued from the street. Now I'm 19 years old, I finished my A-levels and I'm working for the charity. I'm working in sponsorship department as a sponsorship assistant. Can you tell me, why are there young children, five years old, nine years old, working on the beach? Okay, basically the children are forced to work by the parents on the beach. And the children go on the beach and they start selling and white people feel pity on them and they buy things. That's how they have an income overall. Tom and Jerry, Jerry. Yeah. The parents are not educated, so they feel education is not important for them. They believe that going to school does not help the children in any way. They only want them to earn money. Of course, the way they live is not easy. It's a tough life they are having. I want money to increase for because of that guy I want to pay eat. For what? What happened? Because we eat, we thought if we make more business, but I don't make even want to be business to Can you learn from this? Because you know when you owe someone money? Then we don't sleep, thanks. You get stressed out, it becomes a problem. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go pay the man. Thank you, yeah? All right, you're welcome. Hey. <laughs> How important is education for today's children in India? Education is very, very important. It's most needed nowadays. We can stop everything only with education. Child labor can be stopped because of education and all the other wrong things can be stopped if you get a child get education. Basically, a family needs to be educated first on the streets. First on the streets, what do you mean by that? Yeah, every shelters and every village, every state, you know, we have field workers that goes on the streets and work with the children. That means we work with the family, we explain to the family what is the importance of education. We tell them a child is not to be forced to work, a child needs to be educated. That's educating a family, telling the family about a child, what is the right thing of a child, what is the wrong thing of a child, putting in the minds of 
family so that they don't force a child to go into some other works or something that will st spoil the life of a child. Do you have people um, like foreigners or Westerners that, that might see a child being exploited and do they come to you? Yes, some of them do. What if I came to you? Pardon me? What, what, what if I came to you then? Yes, if you come to me, then we'll have to go and talk to the family. We'll have to see the condition and situation of our family members, what our family is going through. Then we can put the child in a care, you can get the child in a care, we can look after the child. And if you want to help down there, we have child sponsorship. Perfect, that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Pooja, what is it? This is his problem, you know, then I work sometimes. I before I work, you know, inside going something. When did that happen, Pooja? Uh, bamboo, something, little bamboo going six. inside. When did that happen? Six months ago. Really? Yeah. You've had that for six yeah, months? Yeah, six months. I don't like this. You can bring for me doctor cream, okay? You can... Okay, I think we're gonna have to do that, Pooja. Yes, please. Tomorrow we're going to the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Pooja, you, you, no. have, you have an infection and it's gotten worse no, over six no. months? You know, he, this, well, this we don't know what it is now. This doctor not looking good. It's mind. in pain, right? Yep. No problem. I that, do doc that doctor looked, she if said I it's serious. Tomorrow you need to see another doctor. Another okay. doctor who if knows I, better. If I come tomorrow, you have to, you want to buy something, one thing. You want me to buy you something? Yeah. Make up, sir. Pooja, we'll, we'll go. I'll buy you lunch. Okay. okay. You buy but lunch. We'll to see the doctor. You buy makeup shirt. You buy inside something. Okay. Then I come. Pooja. Yes. We're not on the beach right now. <laughs> this is not. We're not negotiating. No, I'm not coming tomorrow. No, no. You want. You want the pain. <laughs> you want the pain to continue. You like the pain? You oh. yeah? You like the pain. The pain is good. Today is little bit cutting and putting cream inside. Please, my best friend is showing from he is making care for mine. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are you? Yes. Good. Your new shoes, eh? Yeah, lovely shoes. I like it. Come on, let's go. You happy now? Yeah. I don't know if I'm if I'm doing the right thing. Honestly, I'm trying, but uh, they keep asking, and you know, I keep opening up my wallet. All I want to do, my number one goal here, is to help Shilpa get into school. Hello, you see my shop? Very cheap, okay? Something for 10 rupees, come and look. Why not? Have a look! Tomorrow, 5 o'clock, going to Karnataka! I'm very happy. You know, there was a time, I, I guess I thought this, um, it's, I'm telling a hard luck story. It's a slice of life. I come in, I shoot, and whatever happens, happens. I don't interfere, and I go home, and there's the movie. Well, now I'm here, and I can make a difference. I know that, and I found a solution. Um, so, I want to leave knowing that Shilpa is, uh, has a better future. I, I don't just want to make, make a movie here. I want to leave knowing that Shilpa um, can go to school and get off the beach and uh, make a life for herself, the kind of life that she wants and the kind of life that she deserves.
you going in the uh, in restaurant? Don't worry about that. This is very beautiful. This is very smart. Yeah, see very good. Yes, you very lucky man to find our sister. You have to stay online. Please, okay? Hey, can I open it? Come, let's go inside. This bike is real, and this also, and this, and this. He's buying a series. This bike, please. Zero bought you that too? Yeah, this bike. When do you have power? Power at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock? Yeah. Every day it's like that? Yeah. Because now, now you see me and you think I have all this money. And ah, I, need to I know, I know, I know you buying for me TV. TV. No yeah, yeah. I know you buying for me TV. Exact. That's the problem, <laughs> right there, my friend. Please, come, come here, come here. Earrings. Cyril buy me this. Puja got big one. Earrings. It's amazing. This earrings. What's this? Five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. That's what Please. he spent. Please. Please. Japanese guy buy this for her. Blue shara. Well, blue Japanese guy buy. Three thousand, right. three thousand. Three thousand. Yeah. And who, say, else, who else buys you lots of things? Many, many. Many, many. I find you this many, many bikes for me. Yeah? Yeah. You do that on purpose? Yeah. Good day, Hmm? Chris? Yeah? Problem? No. It is now obvious that the money that the girls make on the beach pales in comparison to the material gifts that they're able to acquire from people like me. Um, people who they meet on the beach, people with big hearts who just want to help. I, I bought them a gas cylinder at the house. I uh, thought I was doing something good for them. Come to this house, I see everything that they have here and now they just want a TV. You know, buy us a TV now and then we'll stop bugging you. Yeah, sure. Okay, so that's the boyfriend? Yes. Wow. Please? Yeah? My with TV. Um, so how do you help? In spite of growing concerns, my plan remained the same. Bring Ravi from El Shaddai over to the house to meet Shilpa and her parents in hopes of getting her into one of their schools. Fortunately for us, Ravi was actually from these parts, even belonging to the same semi-nomadic Lamani tribe as Shilpa. And Ravi was coming home. All I could really do now was wait and try not to bungle things up in the meantime. My baby. I love my baby. Okay. I tell you something, okay? You tell me something. Chris, I don't want a TV, okay? I want, you can do inside particular tireless. I want tireless. I want to put tireless. You give him little money. I don't want TV. TV is expensive. I want tireless. I want to put. You want tiles? Uh, yeah, this all broken, see? Mm -hmm. All broken. Broken. No good, no good. I want to put new okay. one. Clean one, see? No good. Okay. Hey, Shilpa, when you were a small girl, yeah. did you beg on the streets? No. In the, when I'm young, you know, Allah, they do, I beg them. You beg at the mall? Yes, so I beg them. Pooja, when you, when you were a little girl, did you beg like Shilpa? Did you work in Mopsa begging? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you did? Yes. I I sell plastic. 
You sell plastic where? In uh, Mapusa. Uh huh. And For one rupees. I put uh, chicken people water and I carry things. Yeah, so you've always been working hard. Yeah. You know, Friday, only Friday, baby. I heard the TV started working last yeah. night. Yeah. Yes, but have you seen beautiful movie? Did you? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I say telling no TV. Just try it. They said I crazy. Can you do it? Okay. This. Do you see? All broken. I'll put new one. Please. 25 each. One one patty row. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah? I was a stranger in a strange land where virtually no one spoke more than a few words of English. Hey, how are you? How are you? Hey. People stared at me everywhere I went, and even the smallest task, like checking my email, was an adventure unto itself. After being carted across town by one tenacious little horse, we finally arrived in an internet cafe where I learned Ravi, the man at the center of my plan, was still five long days away. At the rate things were going, these guys would be asking me to buy them a new house by then. Days passed at an excruciating pace. Puja husband, her papa, mom. Uh, daddy? Yeah. Yeah, daddy. Nice to meet you. Namaste. Tensions escalated. Please? Yeah? We talk about two days. Tyler's, yeah? Hmm? Tyler's. Until finally, I could wait no longer. If I was going to keep fighting for Shilpa, I needed to know once and for all, I wasn't fighting against her. The moment of truth was upon us, and it filled my heart with dread. See? Now I want a white, white color. This is my house. Okay, that's your house? Yeah. The white one? White one. Nice. It's a beautiful place, yeah? Please, I Please, I Yeah, that's you? Yeah. You okay this morning? Every style is, you know, everybody's shouting. Everybody's shouting. They want me to buy tiles. Okay, you know what I told you before, that I came out here to try to help you to go to school? And you know I told you I've been talking to someone about doing a little uh, school camp next week? Are you going to come to that? Why not? You don't want to do that? 
I have grease before the tile is now, please. You want you want tiles for the house. Why do you want tiles for the house? You're a twelve year old girl. Why do you, you want to make house nice? The house is nice. The house is beautiful. No. You don't think you live in a beautiful house? You don't think you live in a beautiful, beautiful city? Please, please, Rehe, we need tiles. After we talk about a school. No, no. Other way around, Shilpa. Shilpa, I, I can help you with school. And if I can't, I can get other people to help you. Not just one year, but two years, three years, four years, whatever it takes, so that you can go to school. But that means you don't work on the beach anymore. What do you say to that? Chris Rev, please. Tyler's. Okay, Shilpa. I'm gonna um, have a friend. He's gonna come here. His name is Ravi. And From uh, market people, market guy, yeah. He's well. We saw him at the market, but he works. He works with a group that helps people like you go to school. When he comes here, he lives in Karnataka too. I've Not been... I, we no go to school, I promise you. Come on, please, tell me. When he comes, Shilpa, can you talk to him? No. Please. No. For me. I... No. We'll just sit down. No, you, you no, just, no, You no. just listen to him, that's it. First, tell us after everything. You're doing that for your mom, you know that? You're doing that for your mom and dad, not for you, right? Yeah. I know that too. So help me help if you. If you put talents, then I maybe I help, can help do that me, Help me help you. Okay? No, if you take talk, talk, talents, then tiles. after tiles, you talk tiles, to tiles. men. Yeah? yeah. <sighs> All right. All right, that's that, eh? In a last ditch effort, I tried reasoning with Shilpa's mom forced to use her own kids as translators. At the very mention of the word school, she half smirked and shook her head, as if to say, impossible. I had been outplayed by a family of barterers, bartering over Shilpa's very future. Feeling defeated, I canceled my arrangements with Ravi and booked a ticket back to Goa, needing desperately to clear my head and reassess the situation. You look something. No, sorry. Just have a look. No, I have to leave. I'm done with business. I didn't want to admit it, but with my time here winding down, it was beginning to look like the only option left was to let life be. Shilpa, tell me what you're doing here. Selling. You're selling? Yeah, for one rupees, two rupees. But when I left you, there was nothing here. Yeah, nothing here. My boss came and sent me to the shop, so okay, no problem. I will put the shop, start to put the shop. So the, the same boss for, who gives you the clothes for the beach? Yeah. You sell chai? Yeah. Do you make the chai back there? Yeah. You want chai? I'll have a chai. You can make me a chai. Do you like this job? Yes, I love this job. Teacher calling you. Come. Come. Magui, Magui, ya take harue. Magui, Magui, ya take harue. Alu tanagui, haru tanagui. Okay, Shilpa, what kind of school is this? What's up? Yeah, I'm not going to LPS. 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 For uh, just kids in this neighborhood? Yeah. This is a one to five yes. class. Yeah? Does anyone speak any English? No, no, no. No? No, 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 sir. But you speak very, very good English, yeah? Thank you. 
And you don't go to school? No. Do you think, do you think that Shilpa will ever go to school? She, she go to school, then I, I don't, I no go to school. I have no money, no, that's why. Right. Huh? So if she goes, you don't go? Yeah. It's only one can go? Yeah. Pooja no giving. Pooja making her marriage money. Pooja, did you miss me? I miss you a lot. That's why I call, you know? <laughs> yeah. In five years, what will you be doing? I don't know. Will you be selling jewelry still on the beach? Maybe I go to school. Yeah? Maybe you start another business? Maybe you become a successful businesswoman? Maybe I go to school. In five years? No, maybe. I don't know. I think. You know, people going to school and I'm looking, then I'm not happy, you know? So I think maybe I change. I think she'll buy in five years, it will be too late. I'm telling you the truth. I told you before, now is your chance. If you want now, you know, you can still talk to me. You change your mind, I go home, you can call me. We can still talk. Okay. You understand? Okay. But Shilpa... Okay, I have business. Ah. Ah. I'm married up. 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 Shilpa, yeah? what did the teacher say to you today? You have to go to school, you're very clever. I'll be sir, and we don't speak English, and you speak English. You're very clever. You will be very good teacher. Yeah? Yes. You speak other languages too besides English? Yes. Yeah, can you tell me? What do you say when an Italian? Uh, approaches you on the beach. Italiano, Costa Bello, Cento Cicumanto, La Galina Canto, Mamma Mia, Banjara, Poco Poco. What about, what about a Russian? Russian, Pasmatri, my man and Kibaza, Kazibzavut, Kadis, Kazila, Kasiva, Davai, Pasmatri. German. German, Alex Lau, Undaba, Alex Undaba, Yo Yo. Japanese. Oh, hi, yo, unasi, yo, mirida kene, gojo rupi, kawaii fry. American. American, I don't know. Ah.
Sopa? Sopa? Ja, Shilpa Puja. Eh, ini dia Puja. Ini Puja. No? Is it you? Look at you, Chris, oh, how are you? Yeah. I'm back. Give me a hug. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at this man. How are you? You're growing up, so I didn't yes. recognize you right away. It's a Shilpa. Yes. You grew up to be very beautiful. I can't believe it. Thank you. I mean, I can believe it, but still. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's new? It's been five years. Nothing new. Same job. Same, same. same. You're still same. selling. Yes, still selling. No boss? No boss. You're the boss? Yes, I'm the boss. What is your best? What is your final offer? My final offer is 500. That's Make it for most... seven. It has been five years since my last trip. Five years since I last saw Shilpa's face or heard her voice. Who are you? Hey, I'm Leslie. You for... me. And with no guarantee that I would even find her, I just flew 20 hours across the globe to track her down. Like, if I was not here, then what are you going to do? If you weren't here, yeah. I probably would have uh, gone to your village. My village? Yeah, that was my next step. Go to Gadag. If I marry, then? You know, I, I wondered. Yeah. <laughs> I wondered. <laughs> While well, my original plan was to reconnect with her, and uh, just film a little five minutes where is she now kind of update. I have instead discovered that I have arrived in the midst of a family emergency. She's my older sister. Where? Here. Sharon. Jopa's mm -hmm. older sister. Yes, I'm sister. Pleasure to meet you. My parents was staying in house in Karnataka because my papa have a problem. My papa have a problem, so my house is full down. So they need a house. They not any. They not. They don't have any more house in Karnataka. They stay in bus stop. So I was plan to make the house new, but I don't have any more money. So it's finished. So I need some help. So. So your dad, he had a, a stroke. I think. Yes, he had a stroke. You said um, one side of his one body. One side, yeah. Yeah. We can see, when we go to Karnataka, you can see All how right, they we'll stay in bus stop. I'm sorry to hear to hear to Yeah. You, so, you are not alone. Oh, you got that one. Mm. <laughs> You're too smart to be doing this. Hi, tall lady, check it out. So this is your old shop, yeah? Yeah. 
where I last saw you, you were selling candy and... Yeah, many things. Is it hard for you, Shilpa, coming back? It's very hard. They don't have any breakfast, no food, nothing, you know, many tensions. No spices? It's empty. You see his feet? That feet is not working. Yeah. The right one is working. So this is the new the site of the new house. Yes. After your old house collapsed. Yes. The whole thing collapsed. Yes. People could have been killed. Yes, people, if it's my father and mama inside, they will be killed. And so you have no roof right now? No. So if they don't finish before monsoon? I have many problems. I have to live in trade, in a rain, papa sick. And when will the monsoon come? In one more month, maybe. After one month, yeah. Wow. So this is an emergency right now? Yes. Okay. Can I follow you in? You can show me the house? Yes. All right. I, I can stay like 15, 20 days in bus stop. That's it. Like I can't stay more. Why is that? Because Elise people, they say you can't stay anymore in a bus stop. They, people have a problem. They have to sit in a bus stop, you know? So that's the reason. Shilpa, yes, do you ever have any men come to the house who want to marry you? Yes. Four months before when I, my house is broken, they came to ask my parents, I want to marry this girl. And my mom say, ask Shilpa. And I say, no, thank you, no tears. I want to help my parents. They said, I will give the money and I will make the marriage. No worries. And I say, no, thank you. I don't want to marry now. They say, I like Shilpa. I want to marry me. That guy was telling to my parents. I say, no, no, no. Yeah? I don't want to marry him. How old was the guy, do you think? He was 21 then. Okay, so not too old. Not too old. He was working good, but I don't want to marry him. He said today, bring fan, there is no fan hot if you feel. Yeah, Zary is just No over. fan, Papa, what to do? This is our job and this is our karma. Oh my goodness. Chris will help me, then it's, everything's going to be possible. Well, if I help you, it's not just Chris. A lot of people, lot of people I know. Yeah. Like like Abba say, I'm not yeah. alone. Yeah. 
You know what I was thinking, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking Chilpa has her life too, you know? Everybody has their life. I know you have to help your family, but you have to think about yourself too, yeah? But what to do, Chris? I can e I have to see my family and then I have to see myself, you know? Well, what did Pooja do? Pooja, she, she stay in her husband's house. Yeah, she, she can't got help married her. and she left. Yeah, she left. She can't help me. Her husband not let. She can't even talk with us. Like she was helping me a little bit. His husband said, why you want to help? It's finished. It's not your house anymore. Your marriage is finished. Yeah. He said that, you know, all like my all my sister, they married. They can't come back and help us, you know. They're very upset. They always cry. My silpa sister is, she has many, many things to do and has sold her receives. So very they sweet. feel bad, but they, but they, they can't, can't they do, anything. do anything. They feel really bad, but they can't do anything. But they can't help me because they're married, you know. So their husband don't let them to come. Hmm. You know, like, you know, why don't talk to Pooja? Because I was, she was helping me before and husband, he said, you can't help them. So I was upset. I didn't want to talk to him. Yeah. That's the reason I don't have any number either. I That's don't talk to her. That's why you don't talk to her. No. That's why we haven't called her. She was helping me. Then. Yes, I don't call her. I don't talk to her. I never go visit her. Nothing because she's if she she can't see me like this because she feel very she feel very guilty. You know, I'm, our family is like this. She feel really guilty. She can't do anything. She can see, but she can't do anything. Yeah. That the family is so, like this, and yeah. it's all up to you. Yes, it's up to me. I know this is my job I have to do, but still, really. This is why I say, Shilpa, we want to try to help you with the house, but the house is just one thing. You know, houses come, houses go, whereas education is forever. We help you, we give you an education for higher learning so you can get a diploma. You know what, Chris, you trust me. Uh -huh. Like before I was telling, but I know I was young and all that. Now I tell you, if my house is finished, you tell me to go to school, I promise from Jesus I will do it that. I will do that. I promise. I'm not joking. I okay. swear to you. I promise. We help, we help you with the house. Yeah. And then... I have to help first my house because I'm going to take my papa to there. I can't see yeah. my papa, you know. I understand. I understand. You understand but the my two, problem. But the, the two are, are combined for me. So you, but I don't know the very the school. You have to help me to take the school. Yeah. Then I can go. We'll help you with that. Yes. You, we'll if you out. help me to school, I promise. Yeah. I promise to Jesus I'll go to school. That is my guarantee. All right. Well, how's the cooking? You need to stir the pot? Yeah. No, My name is Chris McDonnell. I'm a filmmaker from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm here in Goa, India, asking you to help me help my precious friend, Shilpa. I'm very happy to talk to you, Abba. So, you've managed to save up some money. Yes. And another friend, like me, gave yeah, you like some. Yeah, like you. You give me four lakhs. So we need to raise three and a half lakhs, which is about 7,000 Canadian. And we need to do this before the monsoon, monsoon. sets in. So that you can finish the building of the house yes. here, bring your family back, back in. Back in house. You'll have a proper roof, yes. proper toilet, and and then at the same time, um, try to introduce you to a correspondence program. And she'd be able to attend school and work on the side. Yes, yes, that's yes. what we say. Like she can that's work with That's what the correspondence course yeah. they're doing. So that you can learn how to read and write English. Yes. And After my house problem finished. Yeah, I know. The house is the problem go. first. Yes, I want to yep. make house now first and put the roof and then I I promise to go to school. I will do that. Mm -hmm. I will try my best and I will go to school. Yeah. So, so if she opens up a bank account before you leave, mm -hmm. then we can be depositing money into that bank account here. Yeah. So that's the way it's going to work. So I went to bank and I get my ATM, passbook, credit card, everything. Perfect. Yes. So you're set up? Yes. And you need me to help you uh, show you how to use it tomorrow? Yes, right? tomorrow. tomorrow. I don't know how to use it. 
how to take money and how to put everything, I don't know. So this means the monsoon is coming soon, right? Yes, Chris. So that's our story. We can take this crisis and turn it into an opportunity. An opportunity to help Shilpa finally realize her full God-given potential. So thank you for watching and thank you for helping. What do you see? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> it started! Because it is people, they say you can't stay anymore in a bus stop. People have a problem. They have to sit in a... Soon we have to go to um, see the teacher. Yes. All right. I so want we'll... to go. Yes, yes, yes. I want to go to school to learn. Yes, yes. Hey, I'm she's happy. excited finally. <laughs> Yes. Now you you giving plan, so God be bless you then. Oh, thank you, you are very teacher. kind. If I go to school, I will know how to read and write. Yes, you will. Yeah. That's what they're gonna start <laughs> with. And then you get any job you want. I don't need a job, Chris. You know, I need the first thing read, is right. read and write. This is important in my life. You know. Oh, sure. Then well. if I if I know how to read and write, I I know this. I can get job anywhere. This because is music when, to my ears. Yes. Because many people, many people say me, you are so clever girl. I can go in call center, in like a market, in the mall, every, everything, everywhere you can go. You are so clever. Many people say me this. If I know how to read and write, that is important things, you know. I always travel myself sometime, you know, when I go to Karnataka. Mm -hmm. And I can't read the post, you know, where to go, which bus and all this. So that is the important things, how to read. Before, Chris was telling me, like six, six years, five years before, he said, go to school. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I was not so clever, you know, I didn't know so very well. Yeah. Now I understand what is a school mean, what Chris want to tell me. Because I always, if I don't know how to read and write, I always have problem in my life, you know. She say until nine, nine to one and a half. It's too late, you know. I have to work, I have to see my family. You know, every day I have to pay money for the shop, you know. It's Saturday, year to Badwari. Wednesday I can't go, you know that. Wednesday I have to go to flea market. Until nine to twelve, it will be perfect, I think. It's good that they're agreeing to let you leave early. Like you can leave at, you know, 1.30, maybe we can change that to 12. They're not gonna let you take every Wednesday off, though. We have to talk about it. much book and diary. <laughs> the man wants his picture with the star here. Yeah. Shilpa, it's what I tell you, my friend. She is in my heart. I love her very much. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I did 40 rupees business. <laughs> 40? Yeah, 40? You can buy a masala chai. Yeah, masala chai. Masala chai. <laughs> 
Давай 300. Девочки, 300 за большое покрывало. Возьми, очень скидка. Окей, okay. 300. Спасибо. Пока. Вот то и покрывало. Спасибо, мадам. Окей, мой магазин. I like sea talk. That's the reason I buy. I didn't need this blanket. She was telling to her husband. She said she's sweet. That's the reason I buy. Hey, I don't know why I buy. It. I've officially reached the low point in my trip. I've been here almost four weeks. Uh, my wife is back home in Canada. I've extended my stay, so I'm, I'm running out of malaria pills. This is my last one. I'm running out of money. I'm in a holding pattern waiting for my next meeting with El Shaddai, which is supposed to be Tuesday. And I've been turned into a pariah with the girls that I've been filming, including Shilpa. I was in her shop a couple days ago talking to her about uh, her commitment to El Shaddai and what that means when the owner of her shop barged in, went on a, a rampage screaming at her. She told me to leave, which I did. I found out later that he threw her clothes into the street, humiliating her in front of her friends, accused her of having an inappropriate relationship with me, called, called me her boyfriend, and told her she's not allowed to work in that shop anymore. So Shilpa has been banished to the beach, which is a downgrade for her. She hasn't worked on the beach in, in like years, I think. And it's now illegal uh, to pedal on the beach. Hence the police roaming about issuing tickets. She was humiliated and embarrassed um, in front of all of her peers and she thinks that they are the ones who went to the boss and spread these rumors about her uh, because she is such a good seller. People very too much jealous for Silpa. Silpa making little business. And people jealous. She's making very, very business. It's like people is so crazy. So they got rid of Shilpa and now there's more business for them. What's it like to be working on the beach again? It's okay, no business, nothing. Situation is not good at the shop? No. People are saying bad things about us? Yes. It makes me very angry, you know? Yes, I know. What to do, Chris? We are friends. I'm like your sister, you like my brother, but they say bad things. They think you are my boyfriend or something, something. So I come here to help and instead I cause all these problems. Okay, it's not like this. What to do? This is this is called life Chris. This is India life. Just because of one child, it is not possible for us to adjust the timing to two hours. But they can stay, I can go, no? No, because if you go, other children will also demand. Okay, so that's what, what I am saying. Instead of coming here in Shantiniketan school, we have one more center, Little Icons, which is in Kalangut. Over there, over there 9 to 12, you can learn. You can uh, uh, learn all the skills, writing, reading, talking, listening, all this. Once you are perfect, then for proper schooling, you can come over here. What, what the because this is a proper school. That is a non-formal school. So I can go to Kalamut. No? Little icons. Yeah. So your timing is flexible. You understood? Yeah. So that you have flexible timetable. So what I was thinking, the best option is this. Little icons.
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to Kablakati. Kablakati, oh. Yeah. So yeah, friends, Kablakati. That's right. Brother. Yes, my brother. Finally, I see you on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Chuffy, you called him in? He's coming out now. In an hour. So this is how you build a house in India, yeah? Yeah. One fifteen six two thousand fifteen. Uh, four five two thousand fifteen. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Kieran. Your sister wants you to get a job. Yeah, I want a job. <laughs> Can you get a job to help Shilpa though? She yeah. has all the responsibility, you know. Yeah. It's too much for her. You can see that, right? Yeah. Can you help her? Yeah, I help you. Because if we get job, then I help all my family, all. Yeah, your family. They need they need help from more than just Shilpa. Yeah. It's too much for one person. Yeah. We get job, then. I'm what about good. Arjun? Yes, I'm good. Can you? Yeah, I know you're good. Yeah. You're always good. Yeah. <laughs> He don't know how to read, he don't know how to write, he don't have so much mind, you know, Chris. Yeah, I know. Huh? The man is here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So can you tell him our plan? Yeah. You're going to give him half a lakh today. In cash? He needs two, two lakhs. Two lakhs. Today, you have to tell him th that the money is in my bank account and I can't get it out of my account right now. So what we want to, uh, just explain everything to him. We want to give him a check, show him the check. Show him the check. He said he bring money from somewhere else, he need an interest, you know, more. So we we'll have to, so we have to make an a, arrangement of how much interest we're paying, because if I if I could bring thirty five thousand, thirty five thousand, thirty five thousand, you can write a receipt for us. Okay. Tell all people thank you so much, Chris. They didn't even see me and they helped me. Thank you so much. Our bedroom. Bedroom back here? Yeah. So when will your mom and papa be moved in? In 50, 20 days maybe. They will move here. Alright. Big, big thank you for Abba. She helps. She give email to everyone. She and she tell everyone my stories, you know. Yep. Big, big thank you for Abba. I love Abba. Thank you, please. You're welcome. Bye! Bye! Bye. Hey, my friends! Hey, my Bye. friends! Hello! Yeah. All right, goodbye. Hi. Goodbye, Kablakati. One rupees. One rupees. One rupees. Drive away, sir. Kumar. <laughs> rupee, rupee, yeah? What Everywhere you go. What rupees?
बाद दे Christopher and Shilpa. I am so pleased to see the progress of the home and hear of the educational opportunities ahead for you, Shilpa. I know that your education will open so many doors for you and inspire other girls and women to walk in your footsteps. This is it. All right. This going. school uh, every day I have to come here? Yeah. No, no, she is not interested. Right? She is interested, but what is the thing is that she is going to teach only most of the time for the small children, but as well as she will be looking after you. But thing will be that you have to take more interest in that. But I never went to school before, so I want to learn. Like so you do one thing. You come first month for the first time. You come here. You see how it is, and if you feel like you know you continue, continue. Otherwise, we'll see what you can do. So the, the first month that you're looking at it's like a trial. As a trial base, yeah. To trial just to assess her yes, and see yes, what level. Yes. Yes. All right. So why you want to study Shilpa? I want to ask you a question. Why Sorry? you want to study? I want to study. I want to learn English and write. I maybe so I can I, get a I, better I job. So I I can say that I can say that you you know very well English. You know the language. But why it is uh, important to you know to read and write? I can. I think I can do more, much better job than better working on the beach. You know, huh. like always working on the beach. Maybe I'll get a better job. I don't know. Like okay, one more thing I want to ask you. So, what you want to become in your life? Maybe I will work in Holland, Canada, and Vancouver. I don't no, know. no, no, no. I, I, my, my question is not that. Like you know, you want to work in. I don't know. Maybe in call center or something. Call center. Say it depends on you. What like you know, if you have studied like science, if you have studied some BCom, so it's like all about business. I don't know yet. I don't have any plan. So you should always says you has to have some motive why you are going behind of the education. So if you know that why you are going behind the education, then you will automatically follow with that and it will become something. Understood? The <laughs> thing is, there's not a lot of options for someone your age, you know. So these guys, they have a special school and they're willing to accommodate. So I think you should you should stick it out for one month and, and see what happens. Yeah. You know, if it doesn't work, we can talk. But give it one month and let's hope it does. You have a contact with them, right? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hello. 
The husband's fault. Huh? The husband's fault. How long since you saw this little guy? This? I didn't saw him, man, from he born. You had? You've never seen? You never seen? I never seen. This is the first time. First time I saw him. Wow. Auntie Shilpa. Yeah, Auntie Shilpa. Auntie Shilpa. He's my son. I made tea for you. Excellent. Puja chai. Yeah, puja chai. This? What do you bring for me, gift? <laughs> I miss yeah. your gift. <laughs> yeah, this is the. Hey, actually, I do have a gift. Last time you tell me. Last time you tell me, no? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Puja, you believe, in, you believe in Jesus now? Yes, I love my Jesus. Wow. My God. Jesus is your God? My God. Oh, it's beautiful, eh? Thank you so much, Abba. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with you. Oh, for orange. P. P for. Can I say or not? I don't know. Q for what? Don't Q for what? P for P for what? Q for cute. Q for what? Cute. Q for cute? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> cute. Q for queen. No, cute. Cute queen. R for rose. R for rose. That is a rather yes. cute queen. Yes. Zakta bhakta cha. Na mummy papa bebe ta ti pyar kare cha. Na bhai bhai mummy bebe dusre ti pyar kare zatra e char dana ro prem kas. Like is sachcha prem parmeshwar ek is. What she saying? Because of the oh Jesus. Goodness. What she saying, Shilpa? She's talking about our Jesus. Jesus love us lot. Jesus love everyone. He said, Jesus is important in the life. Just trust the Jesus. He's always be with us. He's always in our heart. Because of us, he have many problems. Don't think about a bad from different people. If someone thinks bad to us, you think they will get a better life. They will get a, they, Pray for them. If someone thinks bad, you say, pray for them. They will be happy in their life. Wow. I will be Christian to Christ. You know, I'm feeling so happy to listen all these stories, you know. Puja always say this, don't believe all God, believe the Jesus. Mm. She always says this. Over the past several years, I have spent many a night laying awake wondering if I'd ever go back to India again, wondering if I'd ever see Shilpa again. And here I am at the end of a six week journey where not only did I find Shilpa on the first day here, but I think I was really able to help her this time. Um, we launched the campaign, we raised the money, we fixed her house, and I've introduced her to a school. And uh, I had the honor of sitting there watching 
um, her dialogue with one of the teachers at the school about her future and about future prospects if she learns how to read and write English. And, uh, you know, I never, never thought that I would be coming back five years later and jumping right back on the same storyline and, uh, you know, with an actual shot of helping Shopa achieve her childhood dream of going to school. And yet here we are. I mean, to me, this is, this is a miracle, as simple as that. How was last night? It was so good. It was very best night because I was, I can stay the craze and I can see Pooja. I can see Pooja's husband, kids. I was happy. I get out of the family. Yeah. Yes. But Chris is leaving me. I'm not happy. Hmm. No making me happy, I think. You I think? think you don't like me. I, I will think. miss you, sweet Shopa. I'll really miss you, Chris. I written this and I written this, teaching written this, this is my handwriting. Can I read for you? One morning as Haldi walked to school, she met a giraffe. The Giraffe wore big glasses and he heard he held a he held a he held a book in his hand. He smiled and said good morning haldi it is right chris please write give me the answer i'm sending you the videos okay more i will learn all right my brother
Jeff, who is the man? This is my hobby. Yeah, my what's his name? My sweetheart. His name is Lulu. Yeah. yeah. I'm very lucky to have him in my life. Mm-hmm. He's lucky to have you too, yeah? <laughs>